or mono. Some player stats really quick. Did you know that Lime Lord actually got second in his pools in Genesis? I really? Think. And also Moss beat. Who did he beat? I don't know who he bought. You're gonna have to tell me. All the hand warmers. Oh, are these hand warmers? I have no idea. No, probably not. Did he beat? We're gonna find out. Zane, he beat Zane. Zane. No way. Yeah. Moss beat Zane? Kind of a big deal. That's a dude. That's <laughs> thanks, Connor. All right, so Moss beat Zane. That's actually a very big accomplishment, and I'm. Okay, so this definitely is not hand warmers. They're definitely going all at it. I know they were doing some shuffling for a second, but that just shows you the kind of tension that goes between these two players, man. They know how good each one of them are, and they know to give each other space and try to like keep themselves safe in this matchup. Um, Lime Lord. Very precise, very explosive Alco. Even though he's repping the green, you know, he he does he does a lot of uh, good explosive moves and some pretty good calculated things as well. And Moss, um, switching up, going with the purple Samus, as I've, we've mentioned in the past couple games, we've seen him on stream. Usually he goes with green Samus, and uh, now he's going to purple. And we'll see what kind of change that means for his play style and what kind of, mean, you know, what kind of performance that's going to give in his game. And there we go, ledge, ledge grab, and that's going to end the uh, his uh, second stock off the of Lime Lord. I want to see how this goes. I'm kind of floored by the amount of options that uh, that Moss is using right now. He he has so many options. As everyone knows, um, Samus's bomb jump gives her a lot of mobility and recovery options when she's really far off stage. But even when he's right close to the ledge, Moss is making full use of Samus's abilities. Oh. Except in that instance, to make his recovery as volatile as possible, so that Limelor really doesn't have a chance in hell to, to figure out what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Also making really good use of Krauss cancels. Um, at low percentages, uh, Limelor's aerials don't necessarily knock Samus down, so when uh, Moss crouch cancels an attack, he can immediately retaliate with either a down smash, which he uses, which he uses a lot, or an up uh, up special. Yeah, absolutely. But again, very well put, loose screw. Very well put, Thanks, man. <laughs> I think another uh, another great option uh, choice by Samus is Moss's use of like so many missiles, so oh. many missiles and so many charge shots. It goes crazy, and that probably was not what he was looking to do. And that, and once again, he will lose his stock off the ledge. And uh, we saw as he lost his third stock to that unfortunate air dodge where he missed the uh, grapple on the ledge. He most definitely could have made it back, but just did not air dodge in the right direction, and it cost him the stock. But we're going to see how he can pull through in the end of this first game with his last stock. Right now, he's not at a volatile percent yet. We're going to see if he can pull uh, another, take another stock off of Lime Lord before this game's over, and there it is. You really got to appreciate the, the intensity and the aggressiveness of Lime Lord right now, because he knows that Samus can very easily wall him off with projectiles of her own, so he's not giving her a chance to breathe. Yeah, and it's hard to ha it's hard for Falco to use his own projectiles to wall off Samus. Right. You know, when 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 other floaty characters play against Falco, they have a hard time getting past his wall of lasers, and he uses them as a way to set a, set his opponents up as he makes his approach. This is a lot harder to do against Samus. Samus can burst through your lasers with a rocket and can you know turn herself into a ball to dodge anyway. So a lot of. Um, really important option choices to be made in this matchup. Uh, and I don't think we've actually seen this matchup all night. Um, I know it's not particularly common. I don't remember many... Uh, well, first of all, there are many Samus players here, and I don't think many Kankos either. I would agree with the Samus. Um, definitely, definitely not a lot of Samus players here. I know there's a couple other Falcos, but... Uh, None. I don't think any. I don't think there's a lot of the people that main Falco here. Other than that, and that was actually really close. That had a capacity to be wow. to be anyone's game. But uh, Lime Lord's gonna take the first game. No, that was Moss. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Oh yeah, Moss took it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm with, so... a, with a late there, just popped Lime Lord down, so he couldn't recover. Oh, we got Moss was able to be popped up. Got it. Yeah. Uh, give Moss that point there. I thought I saw I thought I saw Falco standing in the winner in the winner thing. Sorry. Winning. That was weird. Nice. You want me to 
You just want me to call it? Alright, alright, back back to the tournament. Wow. There it goes. Yeah, um oh, I just noticed Samus's uh dash attack is the same as Captain Falcon. That's it. Right? They both have broad shoulders. Yeah. They have to make use of them in any Absolutely. Way they can. And I mean hell, the broad shoulders on on Samus's shit. Bro, that that armor that she's wearing. Like, oof. Have you played the Metroid games? Uh, I played one Metroid game on the Wii. It was like a first person thing. It was kind of cool, but uh, what? Prime, the original? Metroid Prime? Yeah, I believe that's what it was. Yeah, I don't remember, and I didn't even finish it. Well, don't play a lot of video games. It was good. Wow. Now, if you look closely, Missile. you can see Limewood getting absolutely cooked. Um, I you know what? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure that's accurate, and this is why. There's only a one stock difference, and in a matchup like this, a Falco, a skilled Falco that is, can make a cut. He, he left. Yeah, he left. I wasn't expecting him to stay. That was well, Pinoir. I'm, I'm not too crazy about him anyway. Uh, right. <laughs> can we call him Pinoir? That's literally what his. Is that what you just Pinoir? said? Like, no, Pinoir, but like Pinoir. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't, I don't okay, disres I, I don't disrespect a lot of people, but I disrespect him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say that on stream? Naughty me, naughty me. Anyway, back to the game. The thing that's important, the thing that's actually happening right now. This game. Wow. Moss is still in the lead and about to take another stop wow. off Lime Lord. Lime Lord knew that, and he fire Falcoed down. Yeah, Moss is definitely getting a lot of really, really good reads on uh, Lime Lord. Absolutely, and just the choice of options.